chip so tiny it makes a grain of sand look like a boulder, yet so powerful it could reshape your phone, your car, and even the future of artificial intelligence. China just dropped a tech bombshell that's got the entire world Bazinga 1 nanometer chip with an absolutely insane 99.77% yield. Is this the ultimate game changer in the global semiconductor race, or is there a hidden catch we're not seeing? Stick with me, because we're diving deep into this mind-blowing breakthrough. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss what's coming next. Welcome to the channel where we unpack the tech revolutions shaping your future. I'm your name. And today, we're unraveling the mystery behind China's one nanometer chip and why its near-perfect yield is sending shockwaves through Silicon Valley and beyond. This is the story the tech world can't stop talking about, and we're breaking it down with insights you won't find anywhere else. So, grab your favorite snack, settle in, and let's figure out what this chip means for you and the future of technology. Oh, and if you're already hyped, smash that like button right now and drop a comment with Mind Blown to let me know you're with me. Let's start with the basics. What even is a one nanometer chip? Picture this, a nanometer is a billionth of a meter. If you stacked a million of these chips, they still wouldn't be as wide as a single human hair. That's how tiny we're talking. Inside this microscopic marvel, you're cramming billions of transistors, those tiny switches that make your devices think, process, and perform. The smaller the chip, the more transistors you can pack in, which means faster, more efficient gadgets. Your smartphone today might run on a 7 nanometer or 3 nanometer chip, powering everything from your apps to your AI voice assistant. But 1 nanometer? That's like jumping from a bicycle to a supersonic jet. It's the kind of tech that could make your phone process data at lightning speed, run for days on a single charge, or even handle complex AI tasks without ever touching the cloud. Now, let's talk about that 99.77% yield because, holy cow, it's a big deal. In chip manufacturing, yield is the percentage of chips that come off the production line without defects. Think of it like baking cookies, sometimes a few come out burnt or misshapen. For most cutting-edge chips today, like those at 3 nanometers, hitting an 80% yield is considered stellar because the smaller you go, the harder it is to get perfection. But China's claiming 99.77% at 1 nanometer. That's like baking a million cookies and only having a handful come out wrong. It's almost like they're defying the laws of physics. This kind of yield means fewer wasted chips, lower production costs, and the ability to churn out these game-changing chips at scale. But here's the million-dollar question. Is this too good to be true? Keep watching, because we're about to peel back the layers of... If you're as stoked as I am about this, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a single tech revelation. Plus, drop a comment below. Do you think China's cracked the code, or is there a catch? Let's get this conversation popping. So, how on earth did China pull this off? The rumor mill is churning, and here's what we're hearing. Unlike traditional silicon chips, this one nanometer breakthrough reportedly uses advanced 2D materials like graphene or molybdenum disulfide. These materials are just one atom thick. Imagine a sheet so thin it's practically 2D. This allows transistors to shrink to sizes we once thought were impossible while staying super efficient. It's like building a skyscraper with paper-thin walls that are stronger than steel. On top of that, whispers suggest China's using cutting-edge extreme ultraviolet, EUV, lithography, machine esthes, are like the ultimate 3D printers for chips, carving patterns with laser precision. Some even say AI-driven design optimization is in the mix, slashing the time it takes to perfect the chip's blueprint. It's like having a super-smart robot architect who nails the design on the first try. But let's zoom out why should you care about this chip. This isn't just some nerdy lab experiment. It's tech that could change your life. Imagine a smartphone that processes AI tasks locally, so your apps are faster, your data's more secure, and you don't need a constant internet connection. Picture self-driving cars, 
that make split-second decisions sharper than any human driver, keeping you safer on the road. Or, think about data centers that use a fraction of the energy, cutting down on those massive carbon footprints and helping fight climate change. This chip could power the next wave of Innovation Think 6G networks that download movies in a blink, virtual reality headsets that feel like stepping into another world, or even brain-computer interfaces that sound straight out of a sci-fi flick. But here's where things get juicy. If China's one nanometer chip is the real deal, it could shake up the global tech landscape. For years, the semiconductor race has been dominated by heavyweights, like Taiwan's TSMC, and the U.S. is Intel. But a Chinese breakthrough at this level? That's a wake-up call. A chip with a 99.77% yield means China could mass-produce these bad boys at a scale and cost that others can't touch. That's huge for everything from your next smartphone to military tech that powers defense systems. It could give China a massive edge in the tech world, potentially shifting the balance of power. But don't count out the competition just Yater TSMC, Intel, or even Samsung sitting on their own secret weapons? We're digging into that, so don't touch that scroll button. If this tech talk is firing you up, share this video with your tech-loving friends, and let's blow up the comments section. What's one gadget you'd love to see powered by a 1 nanometer chip? A super smart watch? A gaming console that feels like reality? Now, Let's get to the suspenseful part. Is there a catch? Building a one nanometer chip isn't just about fancy tech, it's a logistical beast. Those 2D materials like graphene, they're incredibly tough to produce at scale. It's like trying to weave a blanket out of spider silk possible, but crazy hard. You need specialized facilities, rare resources, and a supply chain that's rock solid. Then there's the equipment. EUV lithography machines, which are essential for carving these tiny chips, are controlled by a handful of companies, mostly outside China, like ASML in the Netherlands. Could China have found a way around this bottleneck? Or are they facing a wall to keep that 99.77% yield consistent? And let's not ignore the elephant in the room, geopolitics. If China starts dominating with this chip, expect some serious pushback. We're talking potential sanctions, trade restrictions, or even rival breakthroughs from the West to counter this move. A chip this advanced also raises big questions about cybersecurity. Could it be a double-edged sword, opening new risks for data privacy or tech sovereignty? We don't have the full picture yet, and that's what makes this so gripping. Is China's 99.77% yield stable across millions of chips? Are there trade-offs in performance, cost, or reliability we're not seeing? The tech world is holding its breath, and you should be too. So, what's next for this one nanometer chip? If China can scale this breakthrough, we're looking at a seismic shift. Consumer tech could leap forward think foldable devices so thin they're like a sheet of paper, or AI assistants that outsmart your brainiest friend. On a bigger scale, this could supercharge solutions to global challenges, like AI models that crack climate change or optimize space exploration. But here's the big question. Who's going to control this tech? If China leads the one nanometer race, they could set the rules for the digital age. But if competitors catch Uber, if there's a hidden flaw in this chip, the race is still anyone's game. Here's my take. This isn't just about a chip. It's about the future of humanity. Whoever masters one, nanometer tech could dictate how we live, work, and innovate for decades. But I want to hear from you. Is China's one nanometer chip the dawn of a tech revolution, or is it too good to be true? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm dying to see what you think. And while you're at it, tell me what tech topic you want us to tackle next. AI breakthroughs? Quantum computing? The next big chip war? Let's make it happen. That's it for today's deep dive into China's one nanometer chip shocker. If this blew your mind like it did mine, hit that like button, share this with every tech geek you know, and subscribe for more game-changing stories. Ring that notification bell so you're first in line for our next video. Thanks for hanging out with Mazining Off. Stay curious, keep revolutionizing.